Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a short pouring video and a vinyl record clock. I had originally done a swipe in gold and I just didn't like the way it turned out so here's round two. I'm just using black acrylic paint and I added gold, purple, and white. All of my paints are mixed with American Floetrol and water. That's it. Um, different variations in the water and the Floetrol, but usually it's half and half um, Floetrol and paint, and then I just add water to thin it out. So I did just this straight pour, and then I blew it out, and then spun it out on my uh, turntable. I let that dry for a few days and it came out just beautiful. But this is where the resin comes in. Even though it's gorgeous just the way it is, the resin adds that shine that I like just to kick it up a notch. Just make sure when you're pouring your resin that you have enough on it that it's going to go all the way to the edge and not pull back. If you do not put enough resin on there, because resin always pulls to the center, it's going to leave little gaps on the edges and then you'll have to do another, well, I've always had to do another pour when I don't add enough. So I just pull it all the way to the sides and make sure that there's enough on there. Keep an eye on it for a little bit to make sure it's not pulling. So I get a nice even coat and that's it. Let that dry for a few days and then I add my mechanism, clock mechanism, and we are done. I hope you like this video. It's just short and sweet, but it's really that simple once you get the design that you like. I used a coating resin, not a casting resin. It's FGCI Super Clear. I love the way it comes out. It's always very clear and it has a really hard finish. And here's the finished product. I love the way it came out. Just a quick note, I always pour in a very well ventilated area and wear well fitting gloves just to protect you from the resin. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you back soon.